We've arrived here in Washington at a historic moment, the 17-year cicada. The 17-year cicada, brood X cicadas have hatched and they are flying among us. There's one on you right now. Don't, 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 don't panic, it's okay. About an inch and a half long, they have red eyes, they have sort of orange veins on their wings. They come up uh, out of the ground, they crawl up and crawl up a tree and they shed their hard shells, their carapace, whereupon they breed. They have just one chance at this. They breed and then the male dies, which I guess, you know, is part of the plan. And <laughs> Then the female lays her eggs and the eggs hatch and the larvae descend and tunnel down into the ground and wait there for 17 years. God moves in mysterious ways. <laughs> it's all according to his plan. We'll find out about this someday. Here's a little song I wrote about the cicadas. Oh, the 17 year cicada, it crawls out of the ground. It has no self-esteem issues, no identity to be found. It does not go into personal counseling for months. Its only job is to have sex, and it only does it once. The cicada crawls out of the ground, and it climbs up on a limb. He looks around for her, and she discovers him. They do not sit discussing old loves of days gone by. It's wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and now it's time to die. <laughs> now, if we were like cicadas, there'd be no politics at all. We'd just wake up one morning and we'd climb the wall. There'd be this lovely high-pitched music in the air. We would get a great big thrill and then we'd not be there. Now the rapture Baptists are waiting for with no suffering or tears. The cicada gets something like that about every 17 years. No philosophy, no economics, just demand and supply. Was it good for you? It was good for me, and now it's time to die. Yes. A tribute to the 17-year cicada.